Okay, uh, so today we're going to be working on partial quotients division. Uh, it's just kind of another method of division that uh, I actually like better than uh, uh, long division um, that you might be familiar with. And I'm going to show you why right here. Pretend you have 3,840 divided by 6. So if we we're going to do this in long division, you do 3,840 divided by 6. Long division is a nice, quick algorithm to use, but it uh, totally does away with conceptual division. The purpose of division is that it's repeated subtraction, just like multiplication is repeated addition. But you don't think of it like that when you do six uh, with long division. You would do six into three. Well, what does this three even represent? Well, for long division, it's just three. It's not 3,000. And six doesn't go into three. So then, okay, well, you do six into 38. Well, let's say you get it right. Let's say it's six times six, okay? goes in six times. Well, then you have to remember, okay, six times six is 36, and you have to subtract, and then you got two. Well, what's that two even represent? Um, bring down your four, if you remember to do it correctly, and now you have six into 24. Well, six goes in 24 four times, okay? But in reality, although long division is a very good way of doing uh, division quickly, there's a lot of uh, ways that a student can make mistakes in here. And while they're doing it, it doesn't make sense as to why they're doing it. Um, the partial quotients division is a, a better way of doing it for kids, I think, um, until they understand what division actually is. Uh, so for partial quotients, you're going to set it up in exactly the same way that you would a long division problem. 3,840. Except this you're going to put a line down perpendicular to it uh, because instead of doing the work up here like you did with long division, you're going to kind of be doing work down the side. Um, and uh, uh, basically, we're going to be capitalizing on the fact that this is repeated subtraction. And we're just going to take, we're just going to keep subtracting uh, multiples of six until we uh, figure out exactly how many times we subtract out uh, six to get 3,840. Um, and what we're going to do is we're not going to do the exact multiples of six. We're going to do easy benchmark multiples. So start over here and just kind of make a workspace where you start with six times one. Six times one would be six. And then the next benchmark you probably want to do is times 10. Be 60. Go down a little bit. Six times 100 is 600. And then since we're in the thousands places here um, with our dividend, we're going to do six times a thousand. Equals six thousand. Now these benchmarks give us a nice um, kind of just uh, way to think about how many times six can go into uh, whatever dividend that we're using. So for our original dividend, it'll be 3,840. Uh, and if we look at our benchmarks here, we uh, if we did six times a thousand, that's too much. Uh, it'd be six thousand. So we know that that's not a good benchmark to use. Well, six times a hundred, we could use. Um, we could say six goes into three thousand eight hundred forty a hundred times. Now it goes in more than that, but we would subtract out that six hundred, and we'd be left with three thousand two hundred forty. And we just keep on doing times a hundred, times a hundred, times a hundred. That'd be a lot of times. This is just too small. Um, to use. We need something in between uh, six times a hundred and six times a thousand to get a, a closer uh, quotient, uh, partial quotient for uh, how many times six goes into 3,840. So if six times a thousand is about twice as much, let's do half of six times a thousand. Let's do six times 500. Uh, six times 500 would be 3,000. And that looks like a good uh, partial quotient to start with. So uh, we do six times. We're going to take this number here. It goes into 3,840, 500 times. Six times 5,000 is 3,000. And so we're going to subtract that much out. We're left with 840. Now, don't worry that this is such a big... Uh, partial dividend, I guess you could call it, to be left with because we're not done subtracting out uh, partial quotients. 
Um, now our dividend is 840 and we need to look at our benchmarks again and see if we have a good benchmark that could go in there. And in this case, the six times 100 is a good benchmark uh, because 600 is very close to 840. So we're gonna put, uh, use 100 as another partial quotient. Six times 100 would be 600. Subtract that out and you get 240. Okay, so if we look at uh, our benchmarks again, 6 times 10 is going to be better for us than uh, 6 times 100 because 6 times, uh, well, 600 is too big. Uh, now, 6 times 10 is 60. We're at 240 here. If in your head you can figure out that 6 times 10, uh, what about 6 times 40 would give us 240? Um Take that six times 10 and multiply it by four and you got exactly what you need. Uh, since I was able to do that one in my head, I just kind of uh, did that one quickly. Uh, oh, don't forget to put your 40 over here, the partial quotient, and then subtract that out and you've got it. Uh, so the last thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and add these three partial quotients up, 500 plus 100 plus 400, um, and it'd be 640. Okay, um, so 6 goes into 3,840, 640 times. And you can put that there if you like, or just whatever, just as long as you circle it and you know what your answer is. Um, there is another way of doing partial quotients that I think that they use in this lesson. So I'm going to go over that real quick, uh, just so you're familiar with what it is. But I'm not going to go through the whole problem again. Uh, they put the partial quotients above uh, the division bar here. So they would have uh, 500 as the first partial quotient, uh, 100 as the second partial quotient, and then 40 as the last. Add those together, you get 640 up top. Uh, it's essentially the same thing. They just do away with this bar down the side um, and uh, put all the partial quotients above. Um, I kind of actually like this one better, uh, but I know that you guys have uh, probably been taught the one on the left before. So either way you want to do it is just fine. Um, but uh, the partial quotient, I think, is a, a better method than uh, just playing long division, especially for those of you who struggle with long division. So I hope that you like this. I hope it helps. Thank you.